Central is one that I use a lot. And uh, um, a lot of times it's with guys that have really, really heavy and strong side, side positions. So Matt, so a lot of times Matt is technically sound. He's got his head down and tight, right? I can't, I can't uh, frame out and I can't turn my hip in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a fist. And I'm gonna start turning my hips into him, my chest away, okay? And I'm gonna start turning, turning, and I'm gonna bring my fist into his hip, and I'm gonna start trying to slide my hip inside right here, okay? So he's here. And he's not gonna feel too threatened here, right? He's gonna feel more comfortable here than me trying to turn into him, because here he's gonna feel like Okay, this guy's gonna be exposing his back. But by keeping this hand here, I'm gonna keep him from sliding up, right? Now, I don't use this grip just because I've had my thumb popped a few times when the guy drives his hip into my thumb, okay? Or drives his hip into my hand. So I always use a fist, right? Here. Now what I do is I start fishing. So with this leg here, I fish, and I hook his foot here. Come on, come on. Now I just lift. Bring right back into guard. I use this all the time. Okay. Especially like guys like Steven who are just really heavy on top. So I can't frame, I can't do anything. So I'm gonna make a fist. I'm gonna start turning my hip, uh, my chest away, and I start driving my hips towards him. He's, it's, he's not gonna feel any danger, so a lot of times guys will kind of hang out here. The only thing I have to watch out for is him sliding up to take my back. Okay, but that's what this hand's for. I'm just sliding my hip through this hole here, pushing. If I can, this is going to have more help here. Now I bring this leg back and I fish for that leg. Now I stretch and I hook. Okay, from here I'm going to lift with this hook leg, push here, and I'm gonna bring this knee that was weak, that, that was pulling this leg in across the chest. I get back to guard. I get back to guard. Now, what happens sometimes? Here, I start trying to weave for this leg and start to keep putting it away, kind of tucking it away or taking, raising his knee up so I can't get this foot here. He kind of pulls his leg away, can't get to it. But by him lifting his knee up, what does that do for this leg? Just gives me the opportunity to slide the leg. Now again, right? Right back into my guard. Looks kind of weird, but Marcus, you had some success with it already, right? Mm -hmm. I use it all the time. I'll even, sometimes, Matt's here, and Matt passes. He gets by my leg, but no, pass, put your weight down. I pass my guard. He feels passed, but this hook is here. I put him right back in. So, when the guy starts, the guy starts passing on this side, he's always trying to beat the top leg. I'll catch him with the bottom leg and I'll use it to put myself back in guard. So why I kind of started playing around with it is using that back leg to fish and then pull them in. And then I started kind of doing it from side control. Right. I push my hips into them and they don't feel threatened. And I reach back, stretch. Yeah, you wouldn't feel like that would be a threat because it's actually on the bottom. Right? Actually, I'm going to turn it away. Right, right. 